Yeah, hey! This is Gabrielle Cote with her slimy hair. Sebum hair. I didn't wash my hair. Gabrielle Cote didn't wash her hair. Today, I've woken up and I've eaten a piece of chocolate in the morning after grapes. I was like, oh my god, what a shitty day. It's beautiful outside. I feel good outside. What a shitty day. I feel harassed and I feel forced and pushed around forced to do stuff like this right now. I feel forced to make this video right now and pushed around. I'm happy I got it started. I'm excited to get it over with. I want to make a part one and a part two. And I'm not having fun. I feel pushed around by the government. So today we are September 26, 2021. And today I feel pushed around and harassed by the government. They're probably just like, mommy, mommy, I need help. I got big diarrhea and I feel sick and I'm crazy in the brain. Mommy, mommy, please help me. I'm like, I'm not your fucking mom. And sorry, like, go kill yourself, government, because I don't give a shit. You're all toxic and it's, so, it's just a load of shit. It's just a load of shit. I have nothing to say. I'm not interested. They make it so hard to understand in the first place. The government and all that stuff and everything. So first of all, the government, what is that? What do you say to a kid that's like, government? What the fuck? You say it's just like people in a position of power and that lead the planet. And I'm like, yeah, but it is old stuff. So young people don't see it as people leading the planet because you will go kill yourself. So, what I hate is the government, because they think it's all about them leading the planet. So, tip for the old folks, we're in 2021, I'm like, tw I'm 23 years old, I don't know, government people or it might be like 50 years old, I don't know, I don't give a shit. So, all they have to do, the government, is produce, maybe on YouTube for the young folks, it's called news, so they do it on the cable. They, they just produce shitty news weekly, just shitty news from the city. Maybe it's great news, but it's full of corruption and disgustingness. If they had a bigger consciousness and awareness about what it is, what it is to be called a healthy space, maybe they could actually produce something healthy for the well-being of everyone's brains and what they think it's the best for the planet if everyone if some people have the brains to communicate what is healthiness cuz i'm sure there are plenty intelligent people out there that could communicate what their vision is for a healthy space on social media to produce news about planetary news and stuff around that they could produce daily a 30 minutes video or weekly hour video week, weekly monthly year round just produce something easy access from a healthy space on youtube that kids could watch that's been around and so there's always wanting to go watch that video that has news and an optimistic utopist vision for the future online easy access and that's part one and part B is part A and part B. Part B is let those kids and people have their fun. Kids like to go watch their celebrities and makeup tutorials and people skateboarding and vlogs and music videos. They might not want to go like mess around social media why is it so complicated to get the real thing on social media and in the internet because it's not there it's like a top secret government only access only prime ministers and presidents have access to what's going on on the planet and the real thing well they they shouldn't leave people in the dark they shouldn't scare them it's not okay people don't give a crap they don't want to get implicated because it's too complicated to get implicated they don't have an easy access to the most main thing there is called a one hour video weekly that everyone could watch that has a 
global news about the whole planet and an optimistic vision for the future. I will go watch it, something easy access on YouTube that fits everyone's, everyone's tastes and all that stuff. If people have the brains and intelligence to put it into action, psychology and there's so much to it, right? Psychology and I don't know, spirituality, faith, ecosystem, food, shelter, anything, anything, anything that's going on on the planet, a lot of organization and I know people have the intelligence to do it. They make crazy intelligent movies with their brains. People have the brains somewhere out there to make it happen. You know what I'm trying to say. Okay? And so that's it. So and afterwards, the government is the are the people in positions of power. So what I would say is no more government. So, yeah, we got social media. We got social media. I'm so pissed off. Don't look at my face. Listen to me. We got social media. And it's like when I touch my face like that and I, I make myself look good, you just, like, shut down my screen because you don't, you don't want me to touch my face because it's a serious video. Well, I feel pressure to do this, so fuck you. Fuck you in the anus. Fuck you. So yeah, besides that, besides making a one hour video or some shit like that for the most basic population to watch on YouTube or some shit like that, uh, you could decide who you vote for the most basic stuff through who you watch online. Who is your social media guru? You don't need a prime minister anymore. You don't need a president anymore. It's just about who has the most subscribers on their social media and what are they doing and everything. I'm okay if they want to keep their little their little government how much however time it takes forever if they want to as a metaphor maybe at some point as a as something that meant something as a place in history and they want to keep the government as history sure but at some point it's just about social media who do you encourage who do you watch and listen to and anyone can talk about anything they want to and it depends who has the most subscribers but it doesn't matter you just watch who you want to watch and you listen to who you want to listen and i'm sure everyone 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 wants what's best for the planet and optimistic. I hope we could get a good utopist, optimistic people on the planet, I population. I hope the population on the planet could be optimistic and utopist. I've seen a lot of dystopian negative movies. I hope we could get a more optimistic vision of the future and utopist. Paradise on Earth, right? And I lost my train of thoughts. Like I get raped in the brains. You just want to look at me like that? Well, I'm going to get implicated in government, politics. I think it's arriere. It's just an old system that we could keep for the sake of history and the sake of memories and history and feelings. And at some point, it could be something on social media they talk about. And you encourage who you want to encourage, whatever. Through views and watches, because that's all there is to it. And maybe they could make something more easy access to what's going on on the planet. And I'm not interested by politics and all that crap because it's not interested. It's too complicated. It's a load of shit. It makes no sense. Yeah, I believe in human rights. I'm happy we went to hell on earth for human rights. And what could happen if the worst crap happens? 
I hope this was it for the worst crap and learning a lesson of the worst crap might be the apocalypse, but maybe we don't have to go to the apocalypse. Maybe we've been there and don't want to go there anymore, so we don't need to be apocalypse crap going on. We could look forward to an optimistic future. And I'm not interested. I felt pressured to make this video and this video's intent about, this is September 26, 2021. My intent was to talk about who's pressuring me right now. So the government, politics, people, the government right now, my, my screen has shut down. It is very frustrating. I guess they don't, when they don't like me, they just turn off my screen. It just magically turns off. My, my screen has magically turned off right now and it, it irritates me, it, it messes me in my brain. I don't like m when my screen turns off. It's like, leave it on. And then I lose my train of thoughts because maybe they, they don't even want me to sound that smart right now, so they just want to fuck with me. You know when they fuck with people, they just fuck with everyone on the planet for their own sake. They just make people sick. All they have to do is do what's best. I hope whoever is leading the planet is doing what's best for everyone. And I think they know what's best, right? So they just have to put it into action. And I think maybe people have different thoughts about what's best and what's not best. Well, what I have to say is veganism and shut up. I'm gonna be vegan. And if you don't think vegan is the way to go, well, you're not okay. And I guess that's the worst crap I got. Vegan is the shit. And if you're not into vegan, then you don't make sense. And I could talk about the paradise on earth we used to have and the garden of Eden and Adam and Eve, which is not cool, it's sexist, but besides the sexism that, that's been due to probably ice age and a catastrophe happening on the paradise on earth we used to have in the garden of Eden, and then it, created sexism somehow, which is why Adam is better than Eve somehow, but I'm happy Lilith exists, right? Where that's the first woman and not, and Adam is like the second person on the planet and, and girls are better than guys. Girls are better than boys. Boys just want their mom. And like, girls are like happy to live alone. They don't need guys. Girls don't need boys. Girls, you know, I'm tired of sexism. It's just too much. It's a overload of sexism, if you ask me. It's just too much sexism to make sense of it. Just talking is too much sexism. In French language, just talking is too much sexism. You can't talk without being sexist. And in English language, if I say human, woman, man, too much sexism. Because I'm like, mankind, so we're all men? Isn't that a bit sexist? What about we're all humans? What about woman? Whoa, man. I'm like, there's too much sexism and they don't seem to grasp the overload of sexism that is so hardcore and it's so hard. Women are born thug life. If, you're, if you were born with a vagina, you were born a thug. You have a vagina, oh yeah, thug life to you. It is so hardcore, it is so like deep, the sexism all around the planet, everywhere, just how we speak, everything that has been built, just how we speak, the sexism is incredible, the language, you have a vagina, thug life to you. And I'm happy nature exists, women don't have to prove too many things, it's more female oriented, everything, life is more female oriented. If there's anything to it, men probably got pissed off. And what's my place on the planet? Because they want to put hierarchy. They just put women down because they want to be men. I'm like, women don't need to prove anything because they know they're the superior one, if I may. Women are superior than men, and there's nothing to it. Men complete themselves. They don't need a man in their lives. Women have access to the Garden of Eden and Paradise. Men were probably just irritated and wanted to find a place on the planet. One of my beliefs is that at some point we were all females and women and girls and then aliens arrived, maybe the Martians. And I believe Martians are men. So if you have a penis, you are a Martian. 
you are someone that have screwed up the planet and everything on the planet to a sexual stuff going on and a woman just let it happen because if it has the capacity to happen well maybe we should let it happen because if it's possible that everything goes goes wrong well maybe we have something to learn or like learn from it is not quite the answer I would like it's more something to acclimate or let happen to become more strong so if an alien with penises arrive on the planet and has the capacity to destroy it well maybe we could become more strong with this beautiful paradise that is the planet earth and maybe they would become more okay those penises people that came from mars the martians and maybe we could have paradise on earth again and have a stronger immune system and never get taken down ever again for the rest of eternity because nothing else could possibly go wrong. We've been to the apocalypse and everything. I'm not sure what I'm saying, to be honest. Maybe the apocalypse is something like the Ankh, and that's all the torture we've been through when they have invented some type of who's better than who. So that's guy, supposedly. That's the yin. No, that's yin supposedly females and the white one is yang it's sky supposedly but it could be interchange and then there's is the s like in this way or is the s in the other way so this is this s so maybe it's guy and the s the other way is maybe girl and who do you put on top guy or girl in hierarchy and then there's the triangle you put the triangle on top is the guy triangle and the triangle at the bottom is a girl and they just screwed with it so much and this reminds me of world war ii when the jewish people and the jewish people and so much torture perhaps and there's so much to the merkaba and sexism and so much to it and gender sexism and so much torture to make it to onk that perhaps has been some type of apocalypse reaction to all that has happened we don't need to go to apocalypse hopefully ever again and who do we have? Genitalia. This is the penis and the girl. The girl is on top. We're better than guys. We win. Woo! Girl power. We're better than guys. We're superior than guys. Yeah! Like they came invading the planet and destroying heaven on earth and the paradise. Well, guess what? We're still better than guys and we don't need to prove anything. We got all we need and we're just waiting for karma to switch because they're going to realize that guys, girls are better than guys and Fuck you to them, cause you wanna look. You wanna go all the way there? We're still on top. That's still us. We we win. We win. So who's gonna win, guys or girls? Girls, girls win. They already won. We won. We won. Okay, so girls win. And even on this arm, if you wanna be vagina, vagina for lesbian, we win. Vagina, vagina, lesbian. And if you wanna be there with what's that? Penis, penis. Gay, gay shit with a vagina. You wanna be straight. This is vagina and penis. You wanna be gay gay shit over here but gay shit with the vagina because they came out of a vagina and we got vagina vagina because lesbian can complete in each other we don't need anyone you don't need someone like you could be the only thing for yourself and you could be with a vagina vagina you don't need dick anywhere on the planet we could be just a bunch of community a bunch of vaginas we could just be girls on the planet and not need any dicks but if you question what happened probably just alien invaded and then dicks happen and we're like maybe it's gonna strengthen our immune system more than anything and never have to go through it ever again and guess what oh uh, sexism and who's on top of who and torture and so much pain and oh vaginas on top we win and gay stuff going on and straight stuff going on and lesbian stuff and i'm cool with all of that that's all i gotta say so, to bring it back, this was September 26, 2021. The intent in the first place was to talk about the government and politics and all that stuff. All I gotta say is, maybe I'm happy that Martians and guys came invading the planet. Now I have access to this beautiful computer. I'm able to talk to you through it. And maybe I'm very happy it happened because I can talk to you and explain stuff to you. And I believe all they have to do for the government and politics is let people vote with who they listen to, who they watch to, 
whoever's on social media, maybe they could reorganize social media to have a better intent for the whole planet and a healthy space paradise on earth where everyone can be happy. I'm happy guys are there. They are welcome on the planet. I'm happy they're there. To be honest, I'm having fun with my straightness, which means a vagina and a penis. And I'm happy because it feels good in my vagina. I guess I like penises because it feels good in my vagina. I like that guys are around because they have penises that feel good in my vagina. I just had sex and it feels so good. Na, na, na. I was happy with my vagina and a dick inside. Oh, my vagina and globing a dick inside. I'm here happy. I'm happy my vagina and globed a dick inside. I'm happy my vagina and globed a dick inside. Cause my vagina feel good. I'm happy to have sex with dicks. Cause it feels good and I hope we can all be happy on the planet. Yeah. That's all I got. So, I'm happy you guys are around. Your dick feels good in my vagina and... I could all be I could also be like I'm happy dicks around. My vagina feels good and globing a dick. To be honest, it's just I talk with the common language there is right now in 2021. There's always place to modifying the common language. And yeah, I wish the common language could be more equal and I shouldn't have to speak with sexist beliefs, but to be honest, most of the time I'm going to speak how I speak unless I naturally correct myself to what's in my brain is a equalitarian belief. And yes, I believe girls are on top. We could be happy guys are around for sexual pleasure more than anything. We do, we do not need to reproduce. We have the right to live a very long, 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 healthy, th healthy time on this place that is heaven on earth. We, li we live long, healthy, beautiful lives where everyone is healthy and sane. We enjoy our time on the planet. We could keep going and keep going and have a, such a beautiful time on the planet. And dicks and vaginas, maybe, who knows, metamorphosis. If you want a dick and you have a vagina, vice versa, I just hope you're happy with the genitalia you were born with. Trans man, trans woman, and I think uh, for the most part, myself, feel, it feels good to have sex. Guys, I've seen on pornos, surely, surely have fun having sex, and hopefully we could all be happy and have a beautiful same place, just like we used to in the Garden of Eden. I guess I'm happy this computer exists right now, because this computer allows me to communicate to all of you. This is my first try communicated to all of, all of you. And I'm happy we've been through all of this because maybe we could be super strong about having everything we want. I have nothing else to say besides hopefully I've satisfied your all you want to know. I have nothing to say. This is me trying to say something and I'm very frustrated when they always want more when I don't have anything to say and now I'm very angry. I'm angry, angry, angry and I have nothing to say to any of you because I just want to be like, fuck you. And I hate that you just put me on the spot and expect me to produce the best speech ever when I just been through a psychosis psychosis and a bunch of views and then you come at me and you're like that wasn't even good could you be better at what you do could you be more clear i'm like uh sorry if you don't like me go somewhere else you don't have to listen to me you don't have to watch me if you don't like me go and go encourage someone else don't encourage me go listen to someone else if you like me sure keep watching if you don't go somewhere else because that's the best i got right now and i hate it Everyone that's like, that wasn't even good. Just go watch somewhere else. That's the best I got right now. Okay, that's the best I got right now. Hope you're happy with what I did. Even if it's not the best ever, that's the best I got right now.